the combined newsrooms of KARK4 and Fox 16. Breaking news coverage. Hello, everyone. I'm Mitch McCoy, 1224 here at KARK4 and Fox 16. We want to get straight to breaking news. Uh, the mic is on. Now it's 1224. I'm Mitch McCoy at KRK4 and Fox 16. We want to get straight to breaking news. There has been a massive fire uh, in White County at a church. Our Claire Kreitz is standing by. You see those live pictures right now. Claire, tell us uh, what's going on. Yeah, so we know that a fire broke out at about 8 this morning. I'm actually here with Pastor Wes Miller. Now tell me what you know so far. We don't know how it started. We don't know any of those. Uh there's answers to any of those questions right now. Um, it's unfortunate, um, and that's where we are with that. I mean, hearts are broken, but we do know that we're going to rebuild stronger and better. And uh, it's a great church, a wonderful place. It has a uh, incredible. It has had an incredible impact on this community, and a lot of people know this church. And it's a, again, it's a wonderful place, and has been a, a blessing to many people. And we will rebuild stronger than ever before. Yeah. So you've been here about a year. What is it like to get a call like that? It's very heartbreaking. Um, um, one of our church members reached out to me this morning immediately when he told me, hey, something's not uh, going right at the church. There's some smoke. And I, I, I jetted out here immediately, got it as quick as I could. I got here just as, uh, as soon as some of the others did. And, and um, at that time, it wasn't as bad. Of course, immediately it began to catch flame and move quickly at that point. So. Uh, this is one of the, as far as a pastor, this is one of the worst things I've ever been through, honestly. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's very heartbreaking, very heartbreaking. But again, we're going to rebuild and we're going we're gonna to be better on the other side of this. So I've been told there's several other church communities out here trying to help you guys out, feed firefighters, etc. What can you say about the community support right now? It's incredible. Uh, man, in the, in the Christian community, um, world there's so many people that that are servants that help us uh first assembly in cersei arkansas is out here right now cooking for the firemen and just doing so much and to them i want to say a big thank you there's been other churches i've had uh, uh assembly of god open arms bb and assembly of god out of uh, bb arkansas they've already made a donation to us so it's been a and there's been others whitney lane um I believe they're in Kensett, located in Kensett, just right outside of Cersei. They brought some water. Is there, and there's been others. I can't name them all because my mind, of course, is, is uh, as you can imagine, my mind's racing, and I'm trying to put the pieces together. So anybody, I want to say to any church that's been here to help or brought water to anyone that served since today, a big thank you. It means from the bottom of my heart, it means the world. So thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your time and there are multiple crews out here still working to get this fire under control there's smoke still coming out of this church so we will keep you updated on air and online so stay with us mitch hey claire i don't know if it's possible if the pastor is still there can, can we find out what part of the church does he know which part of the church the fire started in do you happen to know what part of the church the fire started in we're not 100% sure right now. Um, of course, as you can see, the, it's about midways in the, the entire campus. Our building, all of our buildings connect, and we do know it was about midway somewhere, but we, we can't pinpoint that location right now. All right, thank you so much. Mitch. All right, Claire Kreitz uh, joining us uh, live in White County. Claire, um, we know multiple fire departments are on scene. Kind of set the scene for us, if you can give us uh, just a walking tour of, of what's happening up there in Searcy. All right, yeah, let me get my photographer to go off of the tripod right now, and we'll do a walking, we'll walk around right now. Okay, and, and, and while he does that, I just want to point out, folks, that this is certainly live coverage mm -hmm. of a, a fire a breaking situation up in White County. We can confirm Searcy Faith Assembly Church is on fire. It's off of Highway 16. Uh, you're looking again at live pictures here, so I apologize for the camera. They were stationary for an interview while we repositioned to uh, give you kind of a, a larger vantage point uh, to this uh, fire and in, in this uh, situation up in, in Searcy. Uh, it looks like Claire is, is ready to go. Claire? Yeah, so I'm going to have Ross move this way and kind of show exactly what's going on. Earlier, like just 30 minutes earlier, we saw flames coming out of these windows. You can still see smoke coming out right there. And you, if I'll, he'll pan a little bit more to the right, you can see those multiple fire crews 
I'm told that Fairview was the first ones to be called out. That's a volunteer department. They quickly asked for mutual aid to from other departments. I know Cersei is one of them and Bald Knob, we just saw them roll in. So then we're gonna walk a little bit more this way, Ross. We're gonna go around the building where there are EMS. There's also more firefighters fighting on this side of the building. So again, this is a little bit, this is where everything is okay, but we're gonna walk a little bit more around this building where there's more crews, people working to fight this fire. And you can really see the smoke coming out of the building on this side. We had to watch the water right there. Obviously a lot of water being used on fire today. So see, as you, as you walk around this side, you can start to see the smoke and you can really get the magnitude of how much smoke is coming out of this building. I'm gonna have Ross kind of pan that way so you can start to see the smoke. So there's caution tape. We can't go too much further, but there's caution tape right here where they're blocking up some of the staging area for these firefighters. Now here, this gives you a, a good look of what's going on on this side of the church. You can see firefighters spraying down this side, tons of smoke coming out. And lots of crews working to get this under control right now, Mitch. Uh, Claire, I'm looking at some of these live pictures and, and it certainly would appear that um, some of that smoke, we saw it earlier this morning, it's that, it was that real dark black smoke. Are you still seeing that dark black smoke or, or is this uh, smoke starting to lighten up? It's definitely not that dark black smoke anymore. It is, it's a lot lighter, more white in color. Um, so it kind of blends in with the clouds a little bit. So, you know, it's definitely not as bad as it was this morning. An encouraging sign uh, out of White County this morning where some of that smoke is starting to uh, turn into that uh, white smoke. And really what that means is that firefighters may have a handle on uh, the flames here. And Claire, you said that just a little while ago you actually saw flames. Uh, are you seeing any more flames? I have not seen any more flames since about 30 minutes ago. I, it was very active when we first got here. You can see flames coming out of the windows, but firefighters quickly put those out. So as far as I have seen, not since then. Just a heartbreaking situation up there off of Highway 16. If you're just joining us for our live coverage, uh, we are following breaking news, a massive church fire off of Highway 16 in White County. This is just north of the city limits. Searcy Faith Assembly Church is on fire. Uh, Claire, you know, we, when we started our Facebook Live coverage earlier, we saw some of the comments, people saying that the neighborhoods were blocked off. Uh, I can only assume that's because of fire hoses in that area. Um, what's the traffic situation up there? Yes. So far, all I've seen blocked off are the roads next to the church. So, you know, where tankers are coming in, more fire trucks are coming in. Um, you know, I think they're just really trying to make sure they have enough room to work. Right. Uh, of course, uh, it certainly developing a situation unfolding out of Searcy this morning. Claire, um, we will let you continue to work. We're going to continue with your live pictures, if that's OK, um, just here for a few more moments. If um, there is new information or something that you want to come on and, and pop on, feel free to let us know. We'll certainly take you. Absolutely. Thanks so much. All right. That was our that was our Claire Kreitz reporting from Searcy up in White County. Again, we're going to stick with these live pictures up in White County in Searcy where we have a uh, massive church fire, Searcy Faith Assembly Church. Um, it's on fire. Again, these are live pictures and, and our, our crew, Claire and our photographer Ross, are continuing to work. So you're going to see these movements with the camera where uh, you see that they're actively working because we're still getting ready for our newscasts later today at 4 and 5 and 5.30. So we're going to allow them to work while we are monitoring these live pictures. Uh, again, I want to reiterate, if you were joining us earlier today, you saw that dark smoke 
uh, and that dark smoke has certainly transitioned into that lighter white smoke, which means that uh, firefighters uh, might be getting a handle on the flames out of White County. And I'm going to try while we're monitoring those live pictures, uh, try and bring up a feed here, um, which will show you a couple of photos that um, were taken earlier today uh, from from this fire. Um, stand by while I work to get that set up as we're looking at some of these live pictures. And I apologize, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Wrong feed there. Stand by for us. Um, you see those firefighters continuing to move in. If you're just joining us here, um, I'm Mitch McCoy back at KRK4 and Fox 16. We are following uh, a breaking news situation out of White County where um, there is a massive fire uh, there at a church off of Highway 16. This is the Searcy Faith Assembly Church. Um, and, and we actually have a producer coming in here into our studio. Ashley, I was trying to take that. Um, but for some, the, the studio camera is not loading. So we're gonna pull it up here on the OBS uh, computer here. Um, we might be able to, to get engineering to, to assist us with that second camera, if possible. Okay, so this is a picture. You see it on your screen right now. This was a photo sent to us immediately after uh, those flames started shooting through the roof at the Searcy Faith Assembly Church. This uh, right off of Highway 16 North. You see the flames and you see volunteer firefighters on scene. You heard the pastor just a few moments ago here on our live coverage to talk a little bit about the uh, how quick these flames spread. Let's go back to these live pictures. Uh, this is live uh, up there at the scene. You see that uh, yellow uh, container. I, I know that's not what they call it, uh, but it, it's basically because this is a rural part uh, of the county, uh, they are pumping water in. Uh, and so they will pump those water, or they will pump that water in, and they will have all of the water available to them in that white tub uh, that you saw just a few moments ago. I'm uh, trying to load another source here. Uh, stand by. Uh, you see our reporter there probably trying to get more information, new information as this. Fire continues. Uh, let's go to our computer, uh, our computer, you see those flames shooting through the roof. Those flames, uh, as, we're watch, as we're looking at photos from when this fire was originally reported, you see the uh, intensity of those flames. And then if we scroll over to that next photo that we received, you see all that black smoke. Now let's go to the live pictures where you see that black smoke is turned into white smoke. That is an encouraging sign as firefighters get a handle on this fire at Searcy Faith Assembly Church off of Highway 16. This is just north of the city limits of Searcy. No injuries have been reported. The pastor saying we will recover, we will rebuild. He's saying the uh, faith community already responding to him and is helping this church get back on its feet. Again, you're looking at live pictures here. Uh, our photographer out there working uh, along with our reporter trying to get new information. Uh, but th this is a live uh, look as our reporters 
start to, to work and, and as our uh, crew out there and tries to gather these live pictures. Um, so let's uh, quickly just recap what we know so far. Um, this is the scene out of Searcy. This was a few hours ago um, where you see these flames shooting through the roof up uh, at Searcy Faith Assembly Church. It is on fire. Firefighters are, are getting a handle on that situation. And they are, we're now starting to see that transition from black smoke to white smoke, an encouraging sign out of Searcy. Uh, this is our Twitter feed. And I'm showing you a photo that was sent in to us uh, via Facebook. And you see from a distance all of that smoke. So of course, up in Searcy, so many people are seeing smoke in the air and they're probably trying to figure out what's happening. And so a lot of people starting to send in their photos and starting to send in um, what they're seeing. Again, this is at Searcy Faith Assembly Church. It is on fire. There has been a great um, strides made over the last just even hour as again we see that transition from black smoke to white smoke and that is always an encouraging sign it means that there's not things uh, actually burning inside that church very good news out of Searcy as there are so many people that attend this church Searcy Faith Assembly likely in shock this morning as they probably just turned on Facebook or answered a cell phone call and all of a sudden they're finding out that their church is on fire. Teresa saying prayers for the members on Facebook as we look at some of the comments coming in from all of our viewers on social media. Whitney saying this is horrible, lots of prayers. Kim saying, hope they look into it. I know that there's so many questions about what sparked this fire this morning in White County. Looking at some, uh, Kim is asking for the location. This is off of Highway 16 North, or excuse me, just Highway 16, up in Searcy, up in the White County area. Again, this, you're looking at photos uh, from our Twitter feed. This is a photo sent in a little while ago. This is what it looked like when our um, crews got on scene. This is Claire Kreitz. This was a photo sent to her. You see the black smoke. Um, and, and I want to point out that this is a previous photo. And so we have seen a lot of changes over the last just hour from that black smoke into the white smoke. And actually, I'm going to go ahead. We, it looks like we have a live picture available. This is a live picture at Searcy Faith Assembly Church. You see that white smoke in the upper right-hand corner, uh, now left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, and you're going to see the camera move a little bit. And that's because our reporter and our photographer are out right now trying to gather new information and, and capture new images for our newscasts later tonight. Um, want to, real quick... Dustin is helping me uh, out because I did not know what that yellow tub was. I called it a tub. Dustin helping out, calling it a drop tank. Dustin, I appreciate you. Thank you for the heads up on that. That drop tank was uh, brought in as they pour water in and they use water out of that drop tank uh, to put the flames out. Producers walking in right now into the studio. She might have new information, might be giving us an update on our crew out there. Okay, nope, she's, she's just monitoring your comments as they come in across social media. Uh, looking at, trying to get an idea if there's more comments coming in. Oh, it looks like we might be getting an interview. Uh, there's a firefighter uh, standing by. Let's go ahead and listen in live. Okay, maybe not. They might be adjusting some mics. Just stand by. All right, 
I apologize. Again, these are live pictures of breaking news situation. Fairview Fire Department was paged at 8.30 this morning for a structure fire. And what did you do when we got here? Uh, when we arrived on the scene, we had heavy fire and heavy smoke. Uh, we immediately started calling for uh, other departments around us. Uh, water supply is our biggest, biggest challenge. Uh, so we just immediately started asking for people with tankers to start showing up with tankers. <laughs> Um, how many agencies are out here right now? Uh, 10 or 12, last count that I had. Uh, about, about every department from the county's got something out here. Um, what, you know, do you know where this fire started? I do not know where it started. Uh, I was told the kitchen area, but I can't confirm that. I have no idea. Uh, what makes this fire so hard? You know, you've been out here since 8.30 this morning. What makes it hard to put out? Uh, the biggest challenge that we faced when we got out here was this church has been added on to several times. So it's been a building with added on to and added on to. So it's just cut up. Uh, there's several different rooms, several different structures within the one structure. And you know, I, I'm sure fighting fires is hard no matter what, but yes, um, what is it like when it's a church? It's hard. It is hard. Uh, Especially when you got church members standing out here watching their church burn. Uh, it, it's tough. It is tough. Uh, like I say, we've had several church members out here all morning with us uh, watching, offering help, offering, bringing water, bringing food. Uh, you know, it's, it's hot out here, uh, limited resources. Uh, Cersei Fire Department's out here with what they can supply us. They're a full-time department. They've got to keep the city of Cersei staffed. Uh, everybody else is volunteer departments. It's the middle of a day on a work day, and that's just a, a challenge in itself. Where does it stand right now? How, how is it going? Uh, we're still fighting fire. Uh, we've still got fire in there. Uh, right now, it's just, it was just a defense. We're just defensively fighting it. Uh, Cersei's brought a tower out here, and we're just going to start peeling the structure back, peeling the metal away, and using their tower to put water down in it. With limited resources, and, and uh, we've spent our resources that we've got. Um, water, we've, we've got plenty of water right this minute, so we're just gonna go that route. Uh, how long do you think you guys are gonna be out here? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, probably the better part of the afternoon. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, you were listening just a moment ago to an interview with the fire department giving us an update on this massive church fire uh, up in White County. This is near Searcy. This is Searcy Faith Assembly right off of Highway 16. Uh, no reported injuries from this fire. We know that the Searcy Fire Department is there. Volunteer fire departments are also there and that uh, firefighters are in a defensive mode right now as they try to get the flames out. Um, you heard that firefighter get emotional um, as, as he comes to the realization that this isn't a normal fire. This is a fire at a church that its members are now watching burn. This um, was not easy for these volunteer firefighters. You have to imagine these are likely volunteer firefighters that uh, this is their neighborhood. This is where they live. These are members of their own community. And that's got to be tough for everyone involved. Uh, you're seeing the camera shake. You're seeing the camera move. Uh, this is a live feed. Our photographer is out there right now capturing brand new images as this event unfolds in White County. So uh, this is a live feed. This is breaking news. This is not going to be um, a, a normal feed or normal uh, image that you normally would see on, on uh, the nightly news or, or Fox 16 News at 530 or anything like that. This is live images as, it, as it's happening. And so the, it was very important for us to uh, make sure we come on here to, to show you exactly what's happening as it unfolds. We 
are following breaking news. We're coming up 10 minutes to one o'clock. Uh, we have been covering this for um, the last two hours uh, here in our newsroom as we follow uh, this breaking news situation out of White County. A massive fire at the Searcy Faith Assembly Church in White County. We know that firefighters started getting the call just around 8.30 this morning. You see all of that water pouring onto that church. Firefighters say there's still flames and that they're in a defensive mode right now. The fire department saying that members of this church are also out watching as they do everything they can to put those flames out. Let me show you uh, just a moment ago some of the photos that were coming into our newsroom immediately after this fire was reported in White County. You see, this is Claire Kreitz Twitter account. You see that black smoke. Um, and that was the black smoke that was reported immediately after um, the fire department started getting those phone calls. And so the fire department started getting the phone calls and they arrived on scene. You see a lot of that caution tape. You see some of the equipment that firefighters are using. And then let me show you some of the photos that we were receiving out um, from people from a distance. Uh, you see uh, smoke. That, that's got to be at least a, a mile or two. You see that smoke just billowing into the air. And so that is all stuff that um, uh, we've been getting all morning long from you folks. Um, on social media and we certainly do appreciate those reports. We have also been getting reports from people that live in the neighborhood. Uh, folks in the neighborhood saying that uh, a lot of the roads are blocked in the area. Claire says that there uh, is not a lot of traffic moving up off of Highway 16 just north of Searcy. Um, I, I believe we have Claire Kreitz standing by um, here in just a moment um, as we get an update from her. We, we jumped in the middle of that news conference that the fire department was holding uh, a little while ago. Uh, Claire, we're learning that the fire department, they're, they're confirming that they're in a defensive mode right now. Just loop us in on exactly what the fire department just uh, told you. Yeah, Mitch, that's exactly what they said. They're on the defensive mode. I'm actually gonna let you get a better look at what that looks like. You can see there is water coming from all angles right now. To the left right here, they are attacking this. You know, you asked me earlier, had I seen any flames? Well, when they, the smoke cleared a little bit and inside this building was lots of flames inside. And so I'm gonna have him pan a little bit more to the right to get the, a view of the ladder truck that's coming from the top right now. They said they're, they're good on water and they're about to exhaust all resources right now to try to put out this fire again on the defensive mode and you can see that's exactly what they're doing is just attacking this fire from all angles. Um, you know, the, the I was listening in and I, I was listening to that firefighter talk about um, some of the church members watching in disbelief. He got emotional during that part. I'm sure he hasn't even had an opportunity for this to sink in yet, that not only is he battling a fire, he's battling a fire at a church, likely a church that is part of his community, uh, since it's a volunteer fire department, it's gotta be heartbreaking for these firefighters. Absolutely, you can hear it in the chief's voice when I ask the question, you know, fighting a fire is hard no matter where you are, but Watching a church go up in flames is something that I think he wasn't even prepared to see. And he said watching the, the church members stand around and watch their, their place of worship go up in flames is really tough. Um, you know, I've talked to a couple of those church members uh, off camera, and they are heartbroken about this. You know, they've added on to this church. They've really put a lot into it. And to see this happen is just really heartbreaking. Uh, Claire, we're looking at live pictures, firefighters battling these flames. Uh, they say that this is still an active fire, that um, this is something that they will likely be battling through the afternoon. Uh, Claire, can you walk us through um, the um, 
um, situation regarding a cause of fire or what caused this fire? I know that uh, it's obviously still very active. Did the fire department have any idea on a cause? A lot of people are asking those questions on social media. You know, right now, nobody knows. Um, it won't be until all of this is put out that they can even get in and try to figure that out. You know, the chief said that he had heard maybe it started in the kitchen, but he said he can't confirm that. So they're still trying to figure this out and, and you know, really put out the fire first and then take care of the rest. Claire, has the pastor given any information about services? I know that today is Wednesday. Um, if I remember correctly, there was a shot that uh, your photographer, who's, by the way, doing an amazing job, let him know, Ross Cook, uh, capturing these live images here now for the last two hours. Um, can, can, is there any idea about church services tonight? I know that it's Wednesday, it's a day of faith, but I also know we're in the middle of a global health pandemic. Um, any idea on, on if there's going to be some kind of prayer or vigil tonight at this church or what the pastor has planned? You know, that's something I'm definitely going to ask. I think at the time when I talked to him, he was just trying to figure out what are the next steps here. I do know that there's lots of other church communities out here trying to provide food, water, anything that they can to the firefighters and the people out here, you know, watching and just offering that support. So I think that's where we're at right now is just trying to get support and help for these firefighters and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Claire, how many, uh, as Ross pans around, I'm seeing more and more fire trucks. Any idea how many fire trucks are there? Oh, man. Um, I would say at least 12, um, if not more. Uh, there's tankers, ladders, you name it. They're out here. All right, Claire Christ joining know us that live. 12 agencies are out here. Twelve agencies are out here, so twelve different fire departments are out here. That is just unbelievable. Twelve different fire agencies out in White County today as they battle this massive fire. Claire Kreitz, uh, you are doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. Tell Ross thank you as we continue to take a look at these live pictures. We continue to follow this breaking news situation in Searcy, uh, just north of Searcy. Actually, um, this massive fire, you see all of that water uh, being pushed onto this church. The fire department confirming just a few moments ago that this is still an active fire, that they are in a defensive mode uh, right now as they still have flames. And the fire chief saying at this point, they're just putting water on it. Uh, we're going to continue with these live pictures out of White County as fire crews continue to battle this massive fire. And then I'm going to move over to our uh, smart board here and get an idea on comments. We're watching your Facebook comments come in and we're watching some of the reaction come in. Amber saying so sad. Uh, Angela saying, were you aware of this? People are tagging their friends as one can only imagine that you have church members looking at this and, and just in disbelief that their church is on fire this afternoon. Looking at some of your comments, Madeline saying prayers, amen. Um, Kevin saying all the people up there watching, this is crazy. Cheryl saying prayers for all affected by this. Tammy saying prayers. Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot of comments come in uh, all across our social media accounts. It looks like we lost our picture. Uh, let me, nope, it looks like Ross may have just been adjusting it. Um, keep in mind, uh, this is live coverage. Our photographer is out there trying to get um, some of the best images possible to help tell this story out of White County. So the photographer, Ross, he'll be moving the camera uh, quite a bit. He'll be adjusting it because he is in that breaking news mode as we try to capture 
all of these moments up in White County as you have so many people looking on in disbelief that this church just north of Searcy off of Highway 16 is on fire. Claire Kreitz telling us a dozen different fire agencies are up in Searcy battling this fire this afternoon. Again, you're looking at these live pictures uh, as our photographer tries to capture the images of this blaze. So there's going to be movement in the camera. There's going to be uh, activity uh, and, and he'll be moving the camera around. He'll maybe try and get it on a tripod every once in a while. So he'll move the camera as he tries to do all of that. Uh, looking at one of these comments, Sharon saying, that's my husband, uh, likely a firefighter, battling this blaze. Karen saying prayers for all of them. Angela saying, so sorry about the loss. I know how it hurts. Uh, Ashley saying, we live a quarter of a mile from this church. We have heard sirens going back and forth all morning. Deborah saying, pray, praying for all of you. Uh, Denise is saying, where is this? Again, this is Highway 16 near Searcy. Okay, it looks like you have large equipment starting to come in. Uh, this is likely to help the fire department um, knock some of these walls down just to, to assist with hot spots. So you're looking at live pictures here as this unfolds. It does look like at this point, they are taking part of the roof off of this church, Highway 16 in White County. Stand by, folks. The producer's walking in. This, um, of course, will be something that we monitor throughout the day as we continue to see the aftermath of this church, this uh, heavy equipment, heavy machinery coming in now to assist with firefighters, and that's where now you start to see a lot more of that smoke come out. Firefighter, you see the firefighter up on the roof there. We heard the fire chief talk about this being a defensive mode. They're in a defensive mode. Meaning that at this point, according to the fire chief, all they can do is put water on it. A lot of prayers coming in on Facebook. You see the firefighter standing there on the roof as the heavy machinery begins to give firefighters an opportunity to put out any hot spots. You know, most of the morning we have been seeing all of the photos of the black smoke. The black smoke is a signal that there is something burning. We saw that transition into the white smoke. It looks like it's a lot of, uh, it looks like a mixture. It's kind of hard to tell through the lens here. but you see firefighters from every angle. Uh, you have firefighters, uh, you can see one in the distance up there on the ladder. You see more firefighters up the, on the, on the right-hand side of your screen, there in the corner. Uh, you see water coming in from the left-hand side. I mean, these are uh, firefighters. Uh, this, must, this is likely that defensive mode that the fire chief was talking about. 
as the firefighters know that this is something that they have no control of. And so at this point, they're just putting water on it. And that's what we heard the fire chief say a little while ago in our live coverage. Leslie, I have a husband and son on the fire department there. A lot of people watching as, as their loved ones. Keep in mind, these are a lot of these uh, men and women are volunteer firefighters that are working this. So this is uh, a lot of folks coming in, likely from work, to help put the flames out. It's just after 1 o'clock here at KRK4 and Fox 16. We are uh, continuing to follow this breaking news situation. We have a reporter there on the scene uh, trying to gather new information and, and capture these images as it all unfolds uh, throughout the day. We will uh, continue to push updates on this breaking news situation straight to your phone. Download the KRK4 and Fox 16 News smartphone apps. I encourage you to check out krk.com and fox16.com throughout the day as we continue to follow this breaking news situation just north of Searcy. Again, if you're just joining us, recap it. We know Searcy Faith Assembly Church is on fire uh, near Highway 16, uh, just north of Searcy in White County. Uh, firefighters now in a defensive mode. They have lost control of this fire and they are now st starting to tackle this fire from all different angles as they try and get uh, a handle on this. Good news, no injuries reported. Uh, that is what we know out of Searcy. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. We will um, be back in just about a half hour for the governor's daily COVID-19 update. So we will uh, be back in just about 25 minutes. And again, updates on this situation as it unfolds all day long. And of course, breaking news uh, across Arkansas as it happens uh, throughout the day right here on KRK.com, Fox16.com, and all of our digital platforms. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. This has been breaking news coverage from the combined newsrooms of KARK4 and Fox 16. We now return to your regularly scheduled program. This has been breaking news coverage.